a following tutorial is brought to you by Alvin and the Famous at Chip Martin. Welcome back to another unofficial part of the episode. Hey Dave, the weather is breezy. The Teletubbies are up to some things. Pixie decided to watch some clouds and see what it would get you. Hello everyone, and welcome to the first installment of A Chat with Alvin. I'm your host, Alvin, star of television, movies... <coughs> Can't I just plug my video? The chipmunks meet Frankenstein? No. I'll take 20. Oh. Okay. Anyway, as Tom Cruise, Cindy Crawford, Harrison Ford, Jim Carrey, Alanis Morissette, and Dennis Miller were unavailable, my guest today is the son of David Seville, Ross Bagnarglian. Bagdanazio. Bagnargum. Bagdasarian. Whatever. Junior. Uh, do I call you Ross, or Junior, or Skippy, or what? Ross is fine. Well, what was it like growing up with him? Wait a minute, I can answer that. They're not asking you, Alvin. Well, that's a mistake, isn't it? May I answer the question? He wasn't David Seville or Ross Bagdasarian Sr. He was just my dad, and, and we had a great understanding. I didn't have to go and listen to his recording sessions and watch him do the animated shows, and he didn't have to go to my Little League games. What are your fondest memories of your family listening to your dad's songs? I bet you love my stuff the most, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Anyway... I remember going into uh, my dad's den when I was eight or nine years old and <laughs> listening to the chipmunk song. And I loved the relationship of David Seville and Alvin. And Alvin talked back to my dad. And we never talked back to my dad. So we were rooting for Alvin the whole way. I, I loved the chipmunk song. How did Ross Sr.? Man, it's so weird calling him Ross Sr. He was always David Seville to me. Anyway, how did he come up with the name David Seville? Well, this was in the mid-50s or so, and, and number one, Tony Curtis, Cary Grant, Rock Hudson, all of these people changed from their real name. You know, none of them were using their real name. It was, Bagdasarian was much too ethnic, and of course, as far as the record company was concerned, would never fit on a 45, so they needed something shorter and something simpler. And so my dad, uh, having been stationed uh, in Spain during World War II and loving the city of Seville, came up with the name David Seville. Uh, tell me, Ross, uh, did your dad yell at you like he did me? Well, let's just say I was the good son. When it came time to do the voices of David Seville and the chipmunks, I wanted to make sure that the characters sounded the same as the originals. And although we auditioned a lot of different actors for the Chipmunks and for Dave, my wife said, look, you know, you sound very much like your dad. Why don't you do it? Now, I was no actor and, and not sure that I am today, but at any rate, I was much worse then. And I thought, well, I might be able to pull this off because I remembered when I was growing up, I used to yell up at my brother the way that my dad did. And I would go, Adam? And my brother would run out to the door. He was sure that it was my dad and not me. And say, what, what is it, Pop? So I thought, you know, if I could fool my brother into thinking that I was my dad, maybe I sound enough like him to play David Seville. And how did the chipmunks get their start? As if I didn't know. Well, my dad wrote The Witch Doctor um, about six months before he wrote the chipmunk song. And in that song... He used that sped-up voice of the witch doctor. Ooh-ee, ooh-ah-ah, ting-tang, walla-walla, ting-tang. So later on, he wanted to incorporate that into a character or characters, and he didn't know if they were going to be singing reindeer, singing hippopotamuses, or what. He was driving along in uh, near Yosemite uh, by Fresno, where he, was, uh, where he was born, and thinking, what are they going to be? And uh, as he was driving his car... A little tiny chipmunk burst in front of the road and really dared my dad and his 4,000-pound car to drive past. And my dad loved the audacity of that character. He had found Alvin, and he knew at that point that that singing voice, that sped-up voice, was going to become chipmunks. And who is each character modeled after? Well, the chipmunks, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, were named after three record executives of Liberty Records. Al was Al Bennett, 
Uh, Simon was Cy Warrenker, and Theodore was Theodore or Ted Keep. Ted was uh, the engineer who, along with my dad, won Grammys uh, for Best Engineering. And, uh, you know, they were doing incredible things in those days. I mean, they did, my dad would do all the different voices, Dave, Alvin, Simon, Theodore, and they only had two tracks to work on. So uh, engineering was definitely a feat back in those days. And Ross, what is your fondest memory growing up with the man who created the Chipmunks? Being eight or nine years old and getting to stay up late to watch my dad on the Ed Sullivan show. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was brilliant. Unfortunately, the kids at school didn't uh, always believe me when I would say, oh, well, my dad created the Chipmunks. I'd say, no, he didn't. David Seville did. And we'd get in a fight over who created the Chipmunks. Was it Ross Bagdasarian or David Seville? I tried to explain to them that it was one and the same person, but uh, generally that didn't go over very well. Did you or your brother or sister inspire any of the Chipmunk stories? Well, my brother Adam, who was about five years old at the time, this was in the summer of 1958, a few months after my dad had written The Witch Doctor, came up and, and asked my, my dad in the dead of summer it, whether it was Christmas or not. Uh, not because my brother was particularly religious, but really because he loved the idea of getting presents. And so my dad, when he wrote Christmas, Christmas time is near, time for joy and time for cheer, uh, the beginning of the chipmunk song was really based on my my brother or the chipmunks who could not wait for Christmas to come. And uh, my brother definitely couldn't wait. And Ross, if you wouldn't mind, name some of the great artists the chipmunks have had the opportunity to work with. Well, the chipmunks have performed with everyone from the Beatles and Dolly Parton, Michael Jackson, Kenny G, Celine Dion... Tammy Lynette, Will Smith, I mean, it, it's a really long list, and it's, it's always done with great respect and a little touch of humor, and, and uh, one of the things, I mean, it starts with my dad uh, meeting the Beatles in, in uh, the mid-60s when Beatlemania was at its height, and not only did they have the kind of sense of humor to appreciate what it was that he was looking to do, but uh, very much gave him their blessing. One of the really special things was uh, working with Will Smith. We, we did a, uh, a TV special with Will where Will introduces five decades with the Chipmunks and uh, the, the, the Chipmunks celebrating five decades of music. And so Will Smith became the host of that show and he dressed up in each of the eras, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, but one of the things that was so great is that my, my wife and I uh, write most of the shows and, and as we did that special. And there was a, a little introduction for the 1990s uh, part of the show and we needed to write a rap. And it was just the lamest kind of rap that you can imagine two white people writing. In any event, Will Smith looked at this and said, uh, do you mind if I kind of work this thing a little bit? And he, in the course of uh, probably 25 seconds, wrote a wonderful rap introduction to the chipmunks in the 1990s. Well, time flies, doesn't it? But that wraps up our first edition of A Chat with Alvin. I'd like to thank my guest, Ross Bagdanasquio. Bagnardian. Bagdaseglian. Alvin! Jeez, <laughs> he sounds just like his dad. How to fix an Alvin Chipmunk voice. Get to fix the voice picture. Bitch minus 12. Click OK. Good job complete!
Zion. Zion. Runs better. Runs better. Looks better. Looks better. Sounds better. 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 <laughs> No more chipmunks, no more caffeine.